Okay, so we're back. I'll insert my last intro here. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Also, um, check out my earring line that came out last month. Um, the link for that will be down in the description box as well. And I still have these available. I still have like a few little pair of these available and some other ones. So go check it out. Say what? Oh, the soaps and the shea butters are coming soon. I not gonna give a date yet when, I'm, when they're ready i'll let you know but definitely um check out um actually follow me on instagram i will probably post it on there first so follow me on instagram to know when that is live as well for you guys to um pick up the link to well. instagram is down too yeah link to my instagram is down below um twitter facebook <coughs> all of that it's always down in the description box and yeah, so let's get into the, the, the plan of this video and why we are here. Um, but this is part two of the video that we're doing. Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep these videos between like 20 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to make it too long because I know you guys aren't going to sit here for an hour. <laughs> um, if it's interesting enough, you might. Yeah, and if you're in your car watching, like just listening to mm -hmm. it, you might. But nonetheless, um, we're pretty much going to pick off from the last video. So if you didn't, what the hell? If you didn't um, see that video, I will have it linked up in the cards so that you guys can check that out first mm -hmm. so that you can understand, like, why he's here, <laughs> so to speak, because we yeah, went into that detail in the first video. What are we doing? Yeah. So, uh, what, is, what, is, oh. what would you have done differently in the relationship? Do you want me to go first? Sure. Um, I think I wouldn't... <laughs> Okay, one of two things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, one, I don't think I would have... Um, I guess I would have... I don't want to say expressed myself more. Or like... Or like give myself the chance to blow up when I... When it was warranted. Because I feel there were times that were warranted that I just didn't. Like I feel like if other people were in my shoes, it would have been like... It would have totally went... a totally different way mm -hmm. um so i feel like that's something i probably would have done differently but then you try not to be i guess the stereotypical like black girl but then it's like nah this is this shit is warranted like, yeah, <laughs> like, like <laughs> that anger needs to come out and i think um i avoided being that um as well and i think i would have been a little more um I guess I guess the same thing. I guess I would have been a little bit more. I don't want to say tough because I feel like I'm I'm like very soft and caring and nurturing and all that kind of stuff. I felt like I probably needed to be a little bit more um, tough. Okay. Well, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think I know. What you, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, I know what I have done different is uh, pretty much what got us here, right? Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't have did that. Because mm -hmm. uh, in all honesty, me and I talked about this at nauseum. That uh, what? Some, at nauseum, like oh, okay, like too much. Okay, right. Um, some of the things that I've done brought us to this point, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I didn't do those things, we wouldn't be here, right? Mm -hmm. Or we might be doing a video about something else, right? Something more positive in respect, right? So. I guess to make it black and white, if if I didn't do some of the things that I did, we might be in a different position right now. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done those things. Yeah, and I think like I, I like I said, I mentioned this in the very first first video. Um, when we started dating, I had said to him, um, with everything that he came with, I did explain that there's a very like small window of like a. Messing up, I that guess. Was very slim margin for error. Yes, um, and I, th I feel like that was just tested a little too, too much. Mm -hmm. um, and then I read something the other day. It says, um, "What is he? People, people don't change unless they see you're, wi you're willing to leave." 
Like, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Because it's almost like people like, It's change. almost like you have to give them an ultimatum, like... Like, people change out of necessity, right? Like, yes. I'm not going to change because I want to change. I'm change like, oh, my God. Something is about to happen, so I need to change. Yes. And that's yeah. wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you... you and I, and I'm, like, I'm the type of person, once I get to the point where I want to leave, I don't... I'm not looking for it back, so to speak. Yeah, you know it's what hard I mean? to pull her back. Yes. So I, I'm not one of those people who can do that. Like I'm not gonna like, well, I'm not gonna like move out, threaten to move out, and actually move out, and then okay, he's changing. Okay, we we're gonna fix it. Like it's not as simple for me to do that. Um, or I don't I don't think it's simple for anyone, but I think the concept of doing that just doesn't sit with how I operate or how my mind operates. You know what I mean? Like I'm just a little bit more like nah. Kind of once I'm out, I'm out. And just don't make, just make sure I don't get out the door, so to speak. Yes, catch her while she's still <laughs> yes. interested, so to speak. Yes, you know so what to mean? speak. Um, or while you still have her attention. Yes. And mm-hmm. yeah, so that's why I would say, what was that? What, what would we have done differently? What would we have done differently? Yeah. Next question. Or, or statement rather. Statement, yeah. Um, you know, expectations you had. What expectations did we have? After the relationship, more so you. Yeah, more so me. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, but I'm. Sure, did you have any? No. None. Like, like you can't think of any actual expectations you might have had to a point where you might have had to catch yourself. Like, wait a minute, Fernando doesn't have to do that anymore. No. Okay. Well, I did. <laughs> anyway, so so like I had a hard time putting Renelle in that she's not my girlfriend anymore box i had a hard time doing that right Mm -hmm. so like i still would expect certain treatment i still would expect certain things i still would expect certain emotions to come my way which i think subconsciously like she still was doing it to an extent but not like she usually did right so that was hard for me to um Kind of wrap my head around, you know. I'm like, well, he wasn't you? used to the the ex girlfriend. Yes, yeah. I didn't know this person. I didn't know. Who which, the which fuck this honestly, person. most of my exes can relate to that. Yes, you know what I mean. Like when I break up with someone, like there is, like I I don't entertain you as if you are still my boyfriend mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. someone I'm dating or someone I'm talking to. Like there's a like there's a clear like. You have now been moved to the friend zone. Yes. Like, there is that, like, I don't want to say emotion I put out, but that that is literally as clear as day. Like, there are no blurred lines <laughs> or, like, mixed signals and things like that. So, usually, like, when I break up with someone, there is, like, a, like, that emotional, nurturing, mothering, caring, Renelle that you know is almost like, a t- it's like night and day, almost. Mm-hmm. It's literally like night and day. Um, and he had a really hard time dealing um, with that, or with that. Not, not necessarily dealing with it, accepting it, yeah, or coming to grips with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, could, because and plus, you got to realize it wasn't just a one way street. So it was more or less like I still would treat her as such, right? Mm-hmm. It's not like she would expect it, but I just felt like it's certain things that I still should do. I still should take her garbage out. I still should get her things if she needs them. I still should make sure she has gas in her car. I still should make sure if she ate things like that. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was routine. Mm-hmm. I still do to an extent, right? Yeah, I mean, there's still things that are like manly to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but it, it wasn't like 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 if I have garbage in my house, like yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously if he's here, like he'll take it out. Yeah, like not, that's not like that's like normal stuff. We're not, not even, like, like that's not an expectation. That's, yeah, I'm not expecting him. That's just kind of like the, she doesn't need to do that. I can, right? Yes. But it's just certain things that I would still do. Like I would make sure I would prioritize her still. Right, so I would make sure that she ate. I would make sure she had this, this, or this, and um, I don't know. You wanted a certain she... level of affection. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I mean, yeah, I did. Just like you know, those sweet texts yeah. and all of that stuff. Like he was still expecting the whole, the and, whole bag. And it was funny. Is I was telling her, it's not that I'm expecting it, and then she was like, "Well, man, you are expecting you are it. Actually, We're having this conversation." Yes. <laughs> But um, yeah. but yeah, I kind of had to figure that out. Like, yeah, this doesn't work like that. Yeah, so you were jealous as hell. Like, it's not, we're not even going was. We like, was. Is was. <laughs> it is. Yeah. You going out when? Wow. When? Where? And the funny thing was, this is the thing that I guess always 
not it baffles me. Yeah. But like when we were dating and I went out, he didn't ask me any questions. No, 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 no. Now to her, to my credit, I trusted this woman to a point where I just never thought I needed to clock her whereabouts. Like this is a grown woman. Why would I do that? And Rennell's not going to do anything. No, but what I'm saying, like, mm. like if I'm like, hey, I'm going out with Diane. Yeah. And we're just like, okay. I mean, we'll be like, oh, what y'all going? What y'all doing? There would be none of that. It would be like, okay. Okay. Oh, and okay. I felt like once I became single, it became more of like, oh, well, where you going? Oh, how do you do it? Oh, man. You it was like just more questions. I'm just like, wait a minute. All of these questions should be happening yeah. while we were together, not now. Like now, it should oh, be like, no. okay. I really believe part of me was on something like, I just didn't want to be that boyfriend. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like, I'm clocking her whereabouts because that was my logic then, right? So when we broke up, <laughs> when we broke up, now I feel. Well, threatened. suppose something happened to me. What were you gonna say? No, I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really clocking. It's just. Me. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I mean, like I said, again, that's one of the other things that I handled the wrong way. But my 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 heart was in the right place because I just felt like I don't want to be one of those guys that were like, "What well, damn?" And I guess that every was time the I go same. somewhere, Fernando want to know where I'm going. That was the same for me though, because I I didn't really do that to you either mm-hmm. um, until like things start, and even then, even when things happen, I still just I didn't ask in detail. Like if you said you were going wherever you went, like but you would say I'm going to X, Y, and Z with X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. That's how you would explain. That's how he always went about saying he was going somewhere. And I never was one to clock either. But since we lived together, mm-hmm. um, like I said, my mind is very strong. So if, if the club closed at two, like I'm in bed, I can literally wake out of my clear blue sleep at like two thirty, and I would be awake until he got home. Um, it wasn't on purpose. I didn't set an alarm. It wasn't. A, she, it was she just. My body just worked. My body just worked that way. Like I just knew the club closed at two, and around like two fifteen, two thirty, I would Mm -hmm. always wake up, no matter what. If he was working, or even if I was doing club security far away. Yeah, we live in Jersey. Clubs close at two. I still should be home within an hour. Yeah, so it was natural for my body to wake up, and anything past like three o'clock, then my mind is like, "What are you doing? Why are you not here? Yes, what's going on?" But as far as, like, his, like, I think he had the, like, I didn't have any expectations. I didn't, like, I didn't break up with the expectation for him to do anything outside of taking care of Nia. That's it. And that was it. I didn't expect anything Mm -hmm. personal. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's what, yeah, but yeah, he was very jealous and he had a very hard time. um. Yep. (laughs) I'm I'm a owner, dog. (laughs) Not gonna lie to anybody. Um, what's the next question? Uh, what was your what's your least favorite memory and favorite memory of each other? Okay, what do you want to do for a favorite or least? Um, let's do least favorite. We can't do it on a high high note. Okay, well, my least favorite was us breaking up. <laughs> so <laughs> that was the least favorite. No, 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 no. What did I say? Yeah. Least favorite was how she oh, was yeah. that weekend before we broke up. That Friday and Saturday. I had no idea who this person was. Like, like I'd never even seen this Renelle. She was, like, very cold. Um, just, like, like she had signed out. Like, she was yeah. completely signed off. And I still, like, I'm, I'm telling you, men, bro, let's look at the signs. If she acts a certain way for your entire relationship, the minute she starts acting the completely different way, start asking questions. Start inquiring. Start wondering why. Um, me, I just thought, she was she was upset about something at work or anything like that. Like I th- listen to me. I didn't know we was breaking up until we broke up. So so like just to give you an idea how oblivious I was, I didn't know we was breaking up until she told me we broke up. But you said you had like moments where you thought like that she was but, about to break up with me. But I still I still didn't think it was gonna happen. Still didn't think it was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So like I said, my least favorite was how she not like I said, my least favorite obviously is when we broke up, but how she was Right before, and I mean like days before, that was like that was hard. That was hard because I, I I was trying to like do nice things and stuff. Remember? Mm-hmm. And when she just wasn't responding, I'm like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. And then I find out what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
my favorite memory, and I told you. Well, let me do my least. Okay, first. go ahead. Go do your least. Um. So my least favorite memory, and uh, I mean, I guess it's I don't say obvious, but is anything that happened that was um that was a repeat offense. <laughs> so um. So like. I said this in the other video. I'm not going to go through it again because we already recorded it and I don't feel like repeating the whole story. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> it was pretty much like a little snippet. When you do something wrong, um, you can't have any more slip ups. Slip ups. Like you can't afford anymore. Yeah. So you can't slip up any more than that time. So mm -hmm. if, if you do something to me and it's bad and you're trying to get me to forgive you, you can't have any more indiscretions or right. whatever after that um and the more you have the less the harder it's going to be for someone to trust you forgive you or stay with you so to speak so i think all of those moments were um my least favorite my least favorite mm -hmm. so if it's specific like the very last time that was like my very least favorite that was 2000 well i guess it was 15 i was pregnant Oh, I guess it was 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. So, not favorite? Favorite. Mm -hmm. You want me to go first? Mm -hmm. All right, so my favorite, and I told you this, this is like something real, real mushy. But I used to play semi-pro football uh, back in 2011. Um, I was playing a game, and I hurt myself. And um, I was sitting on the uh, medical table at my back to the stands, and, I, and someone had like pointed her out that she was walking towards me. And when I turned around and I looked at her, I thought she looked gorgeous. Like, it was just something about the way she looked that night was just incredible. Like, she had just cut her hair. So, she had, like, a little fro. She had a flower in her hair. I remember her outfit down to the T. What did I have on? You had on, um, you had on uh, like, your bell-bottom jeans, a blue top, and you had um, your, your flower match your boots. Okay. Like, you had those, you know those boots you used to wear? Mm -hmm. You had on those. Mm -hmm. Like, your flower matched that. And you had a little fro. And I was telling her, like, how gorgeous she looked. It was almost like she was gliding towards me. <laughs> but I just remember how concerned she I looked. I walk on water. Word up. At night. That's how, yeah, that's how she looked. <laughs> I didn't see her feet moving. I just saw her float to me. And shit. But, um... I just remember how concerned she looked for me. And that made me feel good. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? She really cared about my well-being. You know what I mean? But, it, like I said, it, that moment is, like, burned in my head. And it was it just made me feel really, really nice. Really, really nice. Even if I think about it, it made me feel nice. That's so corny. Hey, well, corn me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, my favorite memory... Um, I said this before. Like I said, it was, I think it was the only time we dressed up for Valentine's Day, and it was our very first Valentine's Day together. Um, that was like my favorite memory because everybody knows I love the city and I love Valentine's Day. Even when I'm single, I love Valentine's Day. So um, I think that was the first time, like. I think it was the first time ever, like, I've gotten dressed up anywhere with somebody that was I was with to go somewhere. Mm. Like, I mean, like, I don't mean, like, we, like, we'll, like, obviously, from other people, we go out to dinner and stuff like that. But it was the first time, like, I had, like, a dress yeah, on, some shoes on. It was, was like, we were dressed mm -hmm. up like we were going, not to Negro, but we were going to Negro. Mm -hmm. um, but we were, like, dressed up, um, and we went out. Uh, yeah, went to the ground, went nice. to the city. It was really nice. Very it was really nice. Mm -hmm. That was like my favorite memory. Mm -hmm. And I, I have that picture because I actually just put, popped up on my timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll put the picture up, somewhere yeah. in the video of what I had on. But that was my favorite memory. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's sad because that was literally in the beginning of our relationship. <laughs> but we had good Valentine's. Because like I told we you. We had good Valentine's Like day. I told you. I think in 2015 for Valentine's Day, remember I took you to that spa. BRC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took you to the spa. Yeah. It wasn't the same, but I did it for her. Like, like, I feel like that first Valentine's Day, though, was, like, in my mind, like, what all of my Valentine's Day was going to end up like. being, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I, I said, we like, had good ones, but yeah. that might have been the best one. Yeah. And as far as, like, me doing something for her, that spa day was pretty cool, too. Yeah. Yeah, that spa day was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it was cool. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so those are positives and negatives. Which one? 
And this is the last question as it pertains to, I guess, our relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, What positives can you take from this experience? Um, You want to go? Okay. All right, so what positive, like if I had to find a positive, I will tell you this. I feel like me and her have been able to communicate. And this is sad. I would say that we've been able to communicate on a, on a more thorough level than we were together. Mm-hmm. Is that safe to say? Mm-hmm. Um, do I think sometimes, or do I hope that brings us closer? Of course. But um, I think it's refreshing that we can still communicate, that we can actually communicate on a higher level. Mm-hmm. Um, would I say we became closer friends? Yeah. I think so. I agree. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. Um, if I had to pull out some positives, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because so. at the end of the day, like, she's not a bad person, neither am I. So, like, I think it works in that respect. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not vindictive or spiteful, and neither is she. Mm-hmm. So, um, and we're pretty considerate of each other. Mm-hmm. So, in that respect, it works. Yeah. You know what I mean? It works. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Mm-hmm. I think that was a positive. I think, um, but I also think that comes with, like, the, the lack of pressure yes. to be something. Like, you know? perfect almost. Yeah. So I feel like in that respect it helps and I um I don't know. But I I feel that was a positive. I think we got closer as far as communicating and being, I guess, uh transparent mm-hmm. um about a lot of things. Um there are still some things that are obviously not we're not transparent about, but um I feel like we're a lot more transparent and I think due to the fact that we both have non I don't want to say non-aggressive personalities, but we're both, we're not like my way or the highway type yes, people. Yes. Um, I think it works for us mm-hmm. um, to still be able to communicate and essentially be friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and not like in a weird way or in an awkward way. And I think <clears throat> one of the things I always tried to convey to him, like even though he was trying to get back with me and things like that, I always tried to, I think the... I guess to bring it home, I, I wanted him to try to understand, like, look, we aren't together now. Let's create a situation that if we get back together, it's okay, fine, we're good. If we don't get back together, we've still created a situation where someone new can come in and be with calm. ease. And as opposed yeah. to they're coming in and like, oh, damn, what's, mm-hmm. what's going on here? Or like, you know what I mean? Let's just create an all all around better situation for Either us getting back together, doubtful. Or the ease of so or creating a space for the ease of someone else to come in, whether it be on his part or my part. I just wanted the situation overall <laughs> to be Are you done? Yo. <laughs> um, <clears throat> just to create that type of environment because like I said me coming into his situation it was different and I didn't want to create that environment for anyone else and just overall I think it's just a healthier environment if we both operate as his parents and put that situation first and not be involved in anything else that I don't want to say that doesn't pertain to her, but at the same time, there are some boundaries. That we just set. Yes. That we probably had a hard time setting in the beginning. You had a hard time setting. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, yeah. That's the end of this particular video. If you guys have any other questions that you want to ask, if you want to see us answer. Mm -hmm. I was waving by. (laughs) Um, you can leave them down in the comment section. I will definitely keep track of them and maybe put them in another video. Put all your questions down below. Any comments you have, I you know you guys know I read all my comments and reply to most of them. But if there are questions, I will save those for the next video. Um, in relation to that, we are going to do one more video, obviously looking like this, because there are some other things we want to touch on while our house is well, not our house, my house is quiet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> while me is asleep and my house is quiet um i do we do want to touch on one more thing um so okay. stay tuned for that no the dating oh yes okay dating. yeah we're not gonna do co-parenting yet Maybe the next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's deal with this one. At some point. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, we're going to do that. And, um, yeah. So, we see you guys in the next video. All my links for my social media will be down in the description box. So, make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you check out the earrings, um, too. The site back. for that so, will be down below, which my soaps and the shea butter are coming as well. They will be added to the site very soon. I don't know when yet. But once they're out, I will post it on Instagram so you guys will know. And yeah, I think that's it. Any last okay. words? Um, well, not last words. No, but last, no, words. last words. We appreciate you guys uh, <clears throat> hanging out with us for this little bit of time. And um, I hope it was insightful. Yes, I hope you. Um, I hope you take away something positive from this. Yeah, seeing us, right? Because I think for me, I watched. There were like two other YouTubers that I watched, and I mentioned this in my last video that were going through a breakup, and one of them, well, two of the, both of them were very vocal about it. But I feel like watching those videos kind of helped me, um, like just stay. Like I don't say stick to my guns, but they were just helpful. And I think just seeing different perspective because who knows you can go you can be going through a similar breakup mm -hmm. or a situation with someone in sometimes you need a different insight that's not your normal circle. And I think so those speak. videos that she mentioned pretty much gave me the idea of us doing this. Yeah. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>